United States electrical power production. A brief comparison of energy sources. First, let's take a look at the United States energy use from the year 2010. This is an energy flow chart showing how energy is used from point source to end load. It's noted that energy is delivered one of three different ways. It's transformed into electricity at a power plant and it's transmitted, it's directly used, or it's petroleum based and it's burned as fuel to meet energy demand. It's noted that petroleum is primarily transportation and industry driven, while electricity feeds all forms of energy demand. The focus of this presentation is primarily electricity production. Thus, we'll narrow our scope just to that area and we'll zoom in to view these sources in a bit more detail. Now, if we group these sources into categories of renewables, nuclear fuels, and fossil fuels, we'll see that electricity generation is almost 70% driven from fossil fuels, namely coal. Nuclear constitutes 21%, while renewables are only 10% of the mix. Looking at the outflow, the energy shaded in light gray denotes lost energy or unrecoverable energy. This is primarily due to the Rankine cycle, which has a theoretical efficiency limit of about 45%. Some additional energy is lost over long distance transmission. The levelized cost of a resource represents a constant cost per unit of generation, and it's useful for comparing different sources of energy. The levelized cost consists of fixed cost and variable cost. Fixed costs are capital and financing of construction, insurance, ad valorem, fixed operation and maintenance, and corporate taxes. Fixed O&M costs are staffing and other costs that are independent of operating hours. Variable costs are fuel cost and variable O&M, which is a function of operating hours. This table shows the estimated cost of electricity by source for plants entering service in 2016. The average cost of hydro is $86.4. Coal and wind average approximately $95. Advanced nuclear average cost is $114, while solar is the most expensive with an average cost of over $210. Solar and wind power, while they have advantages, cannot be fully relied upon for power generation because their output fluctuates. Fossil fuel nuclear and hydroelectric plants are reliable because their output can be controlled. Coal, natural gas, and uranium are all domestically available in the United States, another reason why these sources are reliable. Hydroelectric power can be affected by droughts, making it slightly less reliable. Power plants must also adjust their output to meet the current electrical demand in what is known as load following. Coal plants are almost always run base load, meaning they run at full output all the time because they're cheap to operate and they cannot adjust power output very quickly. Nuclear plants are typically run base load because of their low operating cost, but they can be used for load following as well. Hydroelectric works well for both base load and load following. Natural gas plants typically load follow because they can react quickly to changes in demand and they are usually more expensive to operate than coal or nuclear. Natural gas and hydroelectric plants can also be black start capable, meaning they can start up without power from the grid in the event of an outage. Once online, they can then supply power to start up other generating stations. The environmental impacts of electricity production vary. Regarding hydroelectric, large tracts of land are submerged as water is impounded. This can result in methane release from decaying vegetation. The reservoir can alter river flow patterns and affect an area's ecology. Most of the available hydroelectric power resources have already been utilized in the United States, and further utilization is not without significant risk of environmental damage. Utility scale solar and wind power generation can require a large geographic footprint. The actual generation of electric power itself has a minimal impact on the environment, but the mining and processing of materials used for these components has significant impacts on the surrounding areas. The distribution of solar radiation and high wind is geography and climate specific, and thus can require extensive transmission infrastructure, which can further affect the environment. Their end of life disposal is usually in landfills, however recycling is also possible. The annual consumption of coal is 900 million metric tons. Mining for this vast amount of coal causes extensive environmental impacts, not all of which are tangible. The burning of coal and gas releases large quantities of carbon dioxide, which may contribute to climate change. The residual ash from burning is disposed of in disused mines and landfills, which can contaminate water supplies. The sludge from emission scrubbing is stored in ash containment ponds on site. Mining for nuclear fuel is considerably less damaging to the environment as a significant smaller amount of fuel is required for equivalent power generation. A nuclear plant has no carbon emissions, however, spent fuel must be stored on site until a suitable long-term repository can be agreed upon. Fuel reprocessing is also an option.